Hi, Ann. Scales look good. I can see that you've got a perfect white, black, and neutral gray on the right sides. On the left, um, everything looks okay. All those squares are meant to match, but I noticed that the RGB values for tones is different. Also, um, your, your gradation looks fine, and tones seems to have a pretty consistent value. Now, on to assignment four. Well, I'd like you to... Um, uh, get rid of stroke for future works until we get to the final project. And I should how to do that in class. All right, part one. Well, I see a couple of shades in there. Otherwise, the colors are pretty saturated. Pick from the top right corner to get saturated colors. Now, um, with value, well, you know, this looks like a gradation of value. However, it would have been nice to use a color. Um, Let's see, and in the gradation of saturation, things look okay. Hi, Diana. Well, I think I've seen this set of scales before, so I urge you to take a look at um, the draft review for ideas there. One thing I'll say is that in tints, for example, the pink that you're ending with needs to be related to the red that you start, and the pink that you have here is a magenta actually. Okay, now, with regard to your uh, assignment four, well, given the labeling, I wasn't able to determine readily what was intended to be what part. And the two things that seem to be most finished here both look like they are something of a gradation in hue. And one of the goals with the gradation um, in hue was to have maximum saturation. So where you see a lavender, a pale blue, a mint green, those are not fully saturated colors. Go to the top right corner color picker to find them. Hi, Christy. Um, Let's see. You know, your shade scale looks really good. That is right on the money. With tints, we were trying to end in white and in tones. You needed to keep the um, value constant. Also, when I take the color picker to the leftmost box in each scale, I see they don't match, which was something we were trying for. Now, let's see. Um, your gradation of hue is... Um, it's on the right track, however, um, it's looking a little more like two different gradations of value. In gradation of hue, we wanted to keep saturation at a maximum. So where you see tints, um, that's not what we've got. Gradation of value is perfect, and uh, gradation of saturation is pretty good too. Well, hi Barbara, your scales look pretty good. Um, Let's see, I don't know why it is that your background is gray. It seems like we're looking at all of this with sunglasses on. Um, the white at the end of tints is not a pure white. It should read 255, 255, 255 in the RGB values um, in your color picker. Um, your tones look pretty. They look pretty uh, constant in value and, and shades looks fine. Um, gradation in hue looks okay. All of your colors are largely saturated, but you can push that further and pick from the very top right corner of the color picker. Um, value is okay. Mind you, not all of these shapes are perfect circles. Um, and uh, uh, saturation looks really good. Just one last little note. Um, when I take the color picker to the leftmost boxes in scales, um, we don't have same RGB values. That's something I think you can probably manage by now. Hi, Susie. I'm taking a look at your scales, and uh, shades looks quite good. In tones, we wanted to have value remain constant. That means you need to end with a darker orange, and oranges in the middle should be grayish, but they should also have the same value as the original orange. Now, with tints, you're having a problem akin to Diane's. Um, which is that um, you are changing hue. You want to stay with your orange, and um, what you'll wind up with at the end is uh, a peach color, and then finally white. Now, with regard to your assignment four, you know, all of these are looking like a good example of gradation in value. Um, also, I noticed that, that you are... Uh, uh, using a gradient, sometimes that makes things more tricky. Um, okay. Hi, Alicia. I'm looking at your scales. 
tints looks pretty good, shades also, and tones has a pretty constant value. There is a jump between box one and two. Now, on to assignment four. Um, let's see, part one looks very good. Those colors are saturated. As, as you know, I suggest um, that you eliminate stroke for now from your work. Um, I like your gradation of value. That's uh, interesting, the way that the sort of necklace of beads overlaps itself. I will say that I don't think all of those are perfect circles. And um, gradation of uh, saturation looks quite good. Hi, Tricia. Looking at your scales, things look pretty good. Uh, shades is perfect and uh, tones looks okay with tints you're having the same trouble um i think it was diana and susie were having where you are shifting hue you need to stay in the same color picker field if you start with blue you've got to end with a tint of blue not a tint of cyan um okay so assignment four well part one looks good i, I noticed that the oranges and reds are fully saturated maybe the yellows could be a tad more saturated um in terms of um, value that looks fine and saturation is okay hi carolyn i'm taking a look at your scales and i can see that you have the idea now let's see at left your three uh, squares, they don't all have the same RGB values, and that was something we were looking for. At right on tints, you should have white, which would be R255, um, G255, and B255. And in shades, you should end with a pure black, too. Those RGB values are 000. Uh, in order to have an entirely neutral gray, all the values should be same. Um, okay, now on to assignment four. Well, you know, with regard to your gradation in hue, we really haven't switched hues here, which is something that you should do. Um, you're on the right track. Gradation of value looks fine, and I am enjoying your gradation of saturation. Hello, Gabriella. Looking at your scales here. Well, I can see that you... Um, do know what to do um at right all of the last boxes have the proper rgb values at left i'm getting a slight variation in rgb values all those leftmost boxes should be just the same you know your um uh, gradation of hue is very ambitious it looks pretty good most of those colors are fully saturated and uh, most of your circles are perfect circles remember to release shift last I um, also enjoy your gradation of value. That looks fine. And gradation of saturation, well, you're on the right path. However, value here isn't as constant as it could be. What you want to hear was something like a tones scale. Hi, Carly. Looking at your scales here, you have the right idea. Um, when I check, I see that your black is not completely black. The RGB values there with the color picker should be 000. Also, um, white should be pure white. It can just be the color of the template. And I think I see just a smidgen of variation in the values for your leftmost boxes. They look the same to the eye, but I don't believe the color picker is uh, registering them as being identical. Now, for um, gradation of hue, it looks like you had a lot of fun with this one, and uh, it's quite good. Only thing I'd suggest there is um, eliminate stroke for now and let color sit against color. Um, with value, this is correct. However, I would have liked to see a color there, you know, a gradation of value with a color. Um, and I can see that you have the idea for gradation of saturation and the values are somewhat constant there.